when investing in property? What are the mistakes that we can make during this time? First of all, let me make it a broad aspect in terms of just the property, but look at the business because property is a business. So, so if you're going to if you're going to invest during this pandemic, what you need to do is to have a business plan, which I call a business strategy, right? And I'm sure the viewers have watched our video that I did with you, where I spoke about the before, after, and and the during strategy. So they can watch that episode and then understand what I mean by having that kind of before, uh, during, and after strategy. You need to be absolutely sure that what you're going to get into is something that you love doing. That's number two. You need to be passionate about what you do, right? And there's nothing that beats doing your research, which is number three. You have to do your research. And I think I've always been saying this on Zame's show, on your show, how important it is to do your research. Because like, you know, I always say, actually, my, a friend of mine says this, so I've adapted it. He says, you cannot find these days, you can't even find 20 cents on the street. So that is how difficult it is becoming to finding money. So if you want to, if you want to get into business, you have to think, cr be creative on how to make money and doing your research is part of it. What people do, or the mistake majority of the people do because i hear people saying this all the time no focus on your strength and and don't look at what other people are doing but that's detrimental also because you need to understand what your competitors are doing because if you don't know what your competitors are doing how are you going to be able to do it better so for example when i started i had to go around look at properties look at rundown properties look at properties that are poorly ma managed and properties that are well managed and try to identify myself what makes this company so unique that they keep on getting it right and what's making this company on my left hand side very bad that they keep on getting it very very bad and 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 that is also an opportunity once you under understand that you can actually buy a bad investment next to nothing and make it look better because you've understood what your good competitors are doing and you want to be better than them. So I always say, I always benchmark myself with the companies or our business, even as small as it is, it's benchmark against businesses that are already on the stock market, JSE, listed on the JSE. These are the companies that you need to benchmark yourself with. What did they do right to be able to get listed? Maybe your dream is not to list your business, but if you're going to go into business, your dream should be passing it on to somebody, right? So, so knowing what your competitors are doing is very critical. And also taking into account your own strength. I've spoken about the strength and weaknesses. You need to understand your strength. You need to understand your weaknesses so that, for example, if you're in a property business, you will say, I love managing. My partner hates managing. Andy hates to, to the, with all his fiber. He doesn't like managing. But that's what makes us unique because he's good at selling. He likes the sales part when we started. So it, it, it was a good complimentary because he, my, my, my weakness was his strength and mm -hmm. his weakness was my strength. And therefore, we were able to build a good business because we understood our strength and our weaknesses. So you need to know that and you need to understand what you're actually selling. Like I said on your show, Selling is one thing, but being great at what you sell is art and science. You need to understand the analytics behind it. It's not just there, I'm going to buy a property and flip. No, you need to understand the numbers. And, and I've spoken about the eviction, how we got it bad in our business when we started, because we didn't calculate the fact that we're going to, we have to evict someone. And those are the things because we didn't do a proper research. As much as I looked at a hundred properties, uh, we didn't, we, we forgot that side. It was a blind side, but that is what made us who we are now. So, so understanding what you're actually selling is critical. And also not, you need to make sure that you've got enough capital to start the business.